Hello and welcome to another episode of Captain Wolf Enterprises. I am Captain Oz, and today we start a new series. We are, well, say so we, I am going to be doing uh, the games with gold. So, twice a month there will be a, li a little series of two, maybe three episodes showing you the game that you get free with gold at that part of the month. So obviously if you have Xbox Live you'll know that twice a month, I can't remember the dates off the top of my head, uh, I will look them up, Xbox give out a free game. Now they can be amazing, they can be absolute rubbish, they can be complete unknowns that have just been out of nowhere, they can also be old classics that have reappeared as we have had uh, a couple. So, starting from now, this is going to be a new series, and starting with actually an absolute brilliant game. I played, I played a little bit of it earlier, just sort of get the feel of it. It's called Dust, an Elysian Tale. So, that, without spoiling too much, let's just jump straight into it. Um, yeah. So, press A to begin. Oh, and already. That's me to sign in, okay. I thought I was signed in, apparently not. There we go. And we will start a new game. Uh, there is an autosave in this, which is quite handy. Uh, for the new game, we will simply go slot one. Uh, we're not going to do it casual. Um, Go tough and see how we get on. I seem to be going alright. The world wrong. has fallen Normal. to fade. Its great works long since complete. Its storied civilizations long since fallen to dust. The greatest legends of Elysium long since forgotten. What was once a land of promise has fallen to the ravages of war. And it was in this, our most desperate hour, that the greatest of Elysian tales began. The lone warrior stood against an army, slashing his way through all who opposed him. The mob oh, is stood no chance, and the soldier showed no mercy. But so as you see already, this game looks pretty cool. The graphics are really nice. The valiant soldier would perish on this day. Not to the mob, but to a single child. Uh, I will try and play through the cutscenes because they are some really good cutscenes. Obviously, it helps you to get a feel Dust. of how the game plays. Dust. Arise. But you can, after like one or two words, you can skip the text. <sighs> A talking sword. What are you? So this is us. Only that which you have summoned. And our talking summoned. sword. How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Now rise and claim the blade of Ara. So we now have the blade of Ara. So it is a run around, but at a certain point you do get uh, little options like this. So, uh, I'm Fidget Guardian Sword. What have we got? You don't know a Guardian. Your name's Fidget. What is, the, what is the sword? So, what is this sword? I am the Blade of Ara, and you, Dust, are my fated sword bearer. Yes, well, that's all great and everything, but I think it's about time I got this sword back to the clan. I can't let you just leave with this sword, Fidget. Right now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. I don't 
don't even know how I got here. Hmm. Well, then you leave me no choice. I... I, I challenge you! Um, the winner gets the sword! Well, I... I well, I... It's a bit quick. Alright, alright, you win. But don't think I'm leaving empty handed. I'm coming with you. But, um, I really need the sword back when you're done doing... You know, whatever it is you're doing. What exactly am I doing, Hara? The answers you seek lie to the east. There is a path through the glade that leads down the mountainside. And from there you will find a village. That is your first step. Then will you give me the sword? I really need to get it back home before anyone notices it's... Oh uh, so yeah, we, we, we now start talking to our sword. Out just what it is I'm supposed to do with it? It's all yours, Fidget. Come on, let's go. And a flying cat thing named Fidget. Right. Okay, so... As it says on the Xbox, I'm using a controller, so... Left stick or the D-pad allows you to move. Uh, up and down literally just let you look. So using pushing up will let you look up, pushing down you'll crouch and you'll look down slightly. Uh, obviously the game always walk left first. There's always there you go, look. There's always a little secret. So I have a key. So as you can see, top left is all my stats, so uh, the numbers in the ball is my HP is my HP. The green bar is also my HP. No idea why. Uh, the empty bar below my HP is my XP. Uh, obviously my levels as well. I'm currently level 0 so I can't do anything apart from just hit. And the white bar uh, is um, energy for as and when you get your dash. Um, it's not an attack, it's a dodge. But it's, it's, as it sounds, you literally just dash from left to right. Uh, then you can you can jump with a um, left bumper is quick item which I don't have on which is a little bit below where my where the numbers are for my HP and it goes in that one there which is normally a health item so it'll be like, it's, it's food mainly then you get little add-ons for all your stuff um, that's how the map looks it just comes up in boxes unless you're jumping from uh, area to area at which point it's quite a nice lush green map looking type thing with um, points on to go to and when you go to the points you get another map like this uh, obviously you get your quest log with then using the triggers you've got your active completed and notes uh, your materials used for crafting things so you do get uh, to craft in this you find uh, mats everywhere everything drops them and you can get uh, templates for all the different uh, upgrade weapons that you can get upgrade weapons, upgrade items so you get armor items, uh, you can augment the sword a pendant, you get a couple of rings uh, your stats so it's just the general st game stats uh, my stats so as you can see there's not really much there to go on at the moment but uh, with each level you gain one point you can add into one of these boxes. Once you've got one in, at least one in each, it, the, all of them will jump up once you go one further. So basically if you fill that one, if you fill health, fill attack and fill defense, as soon as you put one into Fidget's uh, attack, you can then put another one on defense, attack and health because they'll all go up by one because there's at least one in everything. So let's move on. Oh, this I, this I, I quite like as well. Be how to open the chests. Obviously, you need keys. Certain chests will need more keys, different keys, or something along those lines. But it's quite a nice little way that you have to open them. Uh, you get purples like this, which which you just beat up. Uh, I can tell someone's going to ask. You know, you can't you can't hit the little bunnies and things that are running around the floor. So yeah, as you can see, I just got a uh, chicken. It's now in the top left. If I use the uh, left bumper, there you go. Uh, at certain points, it's like this log log what I'm carrying on a fallen tree. 
you can um, go down. So you can go. Uh, it all looks like this. You can do it with a bit later on. I'm assuming that that will be once it tells you you can come back here. I haven't actually done that. Yet. I might have to come back once I can do that. Um, ah, these things. These I will give you your abilities. So you just jump into it, and there you go. I've now got the dash. So either using the triggers or the right stick in the direction. And as you can see, that white bar above my health has gone right down. It's now flashing red, so I can't dash anymore. There we go. So use that. Okay. Let's fall down, and then. And then this is a note. So it just tells it just tells you about the item. So it tells you about treasure. That one. And here is our first chest. Oh right, we found a chest. Correction, we found a locked chest. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. That would be unwise, Dust. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era, and are well beyond my capabilities. I suppose we'll need a key then. So, we've obviously got one key. This needs one key. That's Fidget is telling me there. And you push up, and you go into this screen. Now, th from the moment you push that first button, those two halves will start moving together. You've got to push four buttons. If you don't do it fast enough, you I, I'm fairly sure you lose the key. I haven't failed one yet, so we'll find out when I do. So, X, X, A, Y. Oh, it's five. So on four, on normal difficulty, it's four. Okay, I should remember that. Otherwise, oh, I'm gonna start missing some. So what do we get? Let's start with this. I've got some more different food items. I can equip whichever one I want to uh, the quick button bar, and then I have a revival stone. So you don't technically use it. But uh, when you lose all your health and die, instead of actually dying and having to go back to a checkpoint, you literally, you just revive there and then with full HP. You don't do anything extra and you just lose the gem out of your pack. <laughs> so you can find the air as well, which is quite nice. And then you can do little combos like that with the X and Y button, so I can throw them up in the air. Oh, okay. Nobody's had any there's, there's about, I think there's four or five different versions of that combo. Did I learn these until you learn a new skill, which point they opens up loads of possibilities. All the skills imbued therein. Uh, hello? So, if not for the moment, if you see me sort of not doing much this power? in battles because I'm trying to push buttons that I can't use yet. I would awaken from my slumber for such selfish reasons. There is a village beyond these woods. Perhaps finding it will aid in restoring your memories. And then we'll be in the clear, right? No more monsters. Fidget. I think things are about to get a whole lot worse. <sighs> and to think, this morning started off so well. At least take these feeble food. Something tells me you're going to need. Searching for the drop loot and coins and bits of fruit and armor and packs and everything. So this is a safe point, so as you walk over it automatically, saves into the auto save, or you push up, and you can pick those Ted slots, so obviously I've got my personal one down at the bottom there. Just keeps it out of the way. Yeah, do that there, and that's it. That's now saved into slot one, and also in the auto save because I just walked over it. Yeah, while in combat, you can't go into previous areas or next or the next area. You have to be out of combat or to move on or move back or move around. So yeah, I've killed them all. 
uh, as I opened up, and I can run through. Oh, anything else? Oh, 